up, YouTube? It's your favorite oddball, Ryan Kelly. Guess what is out? Finally, the Teen Wolf film is out. So, real quick, if you have not seen it, what I need you to do is hit the escape button, panic, get out, because I'm gonna be talking about some things. I'm gonna spoil some stuff. And the last thing I would want to do is to ruin someone's experience. So, turn it off now if you haven't seen it. Come back another time, you know? We'll, we'll do another connection later. You don't need to see this right now. Uh, I saw the film many, many days ago uh, at the Teen Wolf premiere in Los Angeles. And uh, like I said online, I'm thrilled with it. I'm super happy. Bigger, badder, bolder Teen Wolf. You know, we get to swear in it now. Uh, there's a little bit more nudity. Your boy, so your boy shows some cheeks. Why was that hard for me to say? Your boy shows some cheeks. <laughs> Listen, at the premiere, I thought Parrish's new relationship was like super top secret. Everyone knew automatically. They all knew from the trailer. Maybe I'm dumb. I didn't think like, I guess I'm just dumb. Yeah, I'm just dumb. But I, the fact that you guys picked up that it was Malia and Parrish right from the trailer, I don't know. I guess I'm just dumb. But I thought it was a big secret and apparently it's not. Uh, so yeah, Parrish has a new love interest. I'll tell you, that's um, always a weird thing when you have to kiss one of your dear friends. You have to be romantic with someone you're, you don't look at that at all. Shelly's beautiful, I don't mean it like that. You know, I know what people are thinking, oh God, you had to kiss Shelly, it must suck. No, I know, it's terrible, she's she's gorgeous. But she's a dear, dear friend. So that stuff is always weird, just like Holland. Like, you know, I don't wanna kiss Holland, Holland's my friend. And then, you know, you also- Oh, it broke! I guess I'm just dumb. Listen, I'm balancing it on some crazy things here. So we're gonna get back to that. <laughs> but as I was saying, you know, I know, you know, you know the person that they're dating sometimes, or a lot of times, you know, so it's, man, come on. So, um, it's a balancing act on an ice bucket because I'm just dumb. So yeah, you know, super cool for Parrish. He's finally got a, feels like an adult relationship. <laughs> I don't know, I'd love to know what you guys think. Listen, I know people probably are gonna hate that. Uh, hopefully there's some people that like that. You know, I know there's, you know, there's a big Marish fandom. There's a bit, you know, there's all, there's ships all over. You can't make everyone happy. As long as Parrish is happy and he seems happy in the film, you know, we're gonna go with that. But like I said, I would love to know what you guys think. So make sure you comment down below whether you hate it, whether you love it, whether you think it's weird, whatever. I want to know it all, okay? Moving on. Uh, Vince, the new young lead, what do you think? Derek's son. Who's the mom? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I'm sure you guys do too, but I bet you guys can speculate or come up with some better theories than I could ever. Okay, so that's another one. Who do you think Der er, uh, <laughs> Derek's son's mom is, okay? You know, that's another crazy thing about the film is we're all, we're all much older. Um, Ozzy, I think it's crazy. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed the film. It, 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 I, I also am biased because I, I got to go back and film with my friends. So that part was awesome, you know? You know hey, do you want to do a movie with the friends that you used to work with? No, it sounds terrible. It was awesome. So I want to do more, okay? Let's see. I had all these talking points, but I, I filmed it on my camera last night and the hotel internet won't upload it, so now we're doing it on my phone. You know, it's it's a process. You guys, I wanted to get this out to, today as soon as possible. Oh yeah, that's... I forgot, one of the, uh, th that's why I forgot it, because I know this is gonna be terrible. Uh, at the end of the movie, again, if you haven't seen it all, turn it off. Uh, at the end of the film, someone kind of sort of blows up Derek Hale. Sorry, Tyler Hecklin, you kind of got annoying and I had to kill you. You know, you're just, you were just getting under my skin, you're too goddamn good looking, so I was like, you know what, how do I get rid of this guy? I'll blow him up. I killed him, poof, he's gone. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't really think about that until recently. When someone actually at the premiere was like, dude, you killed Derek Hill. And I was like, yeah, I, but it was, I was being heroic. No, no. So I'm sure I'm going to get some hatred for towards that. Rightfully so. You know, I did, it's like, you know, I did light the match. He wanted it. Okay. You know, it was mutual. Okay. Don't try to put that on me. It was mutual. We wanted it. Okay. Consensual. But yeah, I did, uh, I did make Derek Hill poof, poof, poof. And, uh. I'm very curious to see what you guys think about that. It wasn't my fault, I promise. Yeah, it was weird, you know. It's, uh, I've done funeral scenes before in my, my, my many, many years of acting. Doing one where it's like a dear friend of yours and the picture's there and he's not there and it's weird. Uh, I don't like that, I don't like doing funeral scenes. And I definitely don't like doing funeral, funeral scenes of like real friends, that's not fun. I have a funny picture I need to post. Maybe Ian's gonna post it, I don't know. I, I sent it to him of Ian with the picture of dead Derek Hill. Uh, <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't write the script. I want that to be out there. I, I need people to know that. I don't have any. I don't have any say. I just, I just show up and they and they they tell me what to do. And like, oh, I'm killing Derek Hale. 
got it, let's do this. But I think it was pretty cool. Big poetic ending, Derek, you know, sacrificing himself, pushes Scott, tells him, you know, basically saying like, hey, please take care of my son now, he's in your pack, you are the alpha. And then as he's dying, he becomes an alpha again because he's so badass. Yeah, I, I, uh, I was happy with that. Uh, I like I liked that, you know, you want, you figure when, when a show comes back, they're gonna do a movie where someone dies, right? Like, can't just, you, you just think, like, something so big has to happen, so, you know, and, and I think we did it. We killed a, a very popular character. But I do, you know, I don't know anything, so don't think that this is me talking about the future. I, I have no idea. But if they ever did another film, you know, if they ever did, it's Teen Wolf. You know, Allison just came back. Maybe, you know, we can't do the same storyline, but, you know, there's ways to bring people back, as you've seen, you know? I, I, I've i seen some comments online of people being like, oh, dude, that's what Teen Wolf does, you just bring back anyone. Like, well, yeah, it's it's supernatural. And you know what? I'm very happy that they brought Allison. I think she kicked it, I think she kicked butt. You know, which will segment, segue, I just can't talk this one. I need coffee, please help. Segue into the next section, which is talking about Allison. How badass was she? Right? And I think it's really cool, uh, you know, she comes back and she has, like, enough memory, but nothing of, like, relevance towards what's going on. So it's, she's actually, like, no, well, she's not only not helpful, she's hurtful in the beginning. You know, but she comes back and, you know, the love that Scott McCall has for her and that line, you know, I'm still in love with you. You know, just, oh, that hits. That hits. You know, we've all, we've all had a broken heart or, or the one that got away, um, sadly for Scott, his lover actually died, which is even worse. Um, hopefully none of you ever experienced that. Hope I never experienced that. Um, but we can understand that. And so when he says those words, you're like, oh, oh, oh. so she kicked butt. I mean, everyone, Colton, I mean, there's so many, I was flabbergasted at everyone's performance. Again, I was having so much fun on set filming it that I was paying attention, but I, I really was just like enjoying the moment and, and having fun. We were in Atlanta that I honestly, like I watched people's performance and I remember being like, oh, that's really good, but I wasn't focusing it as I normally would. I was just trying to enjoy it. So then actually seeing it on the film, I was like, oh, they they are talented. I knew this, but actually just seeing it, it was pretty cool. So when I saw the premiere, I actually hadn't seen anything. Some Sometimes you go to premieres and you've already seen a lot of it or you've seen it. The premiere for us, for me, for a lot of us, I think, was the first time all of us saw it, so it was pretty cool. There's some funny moments in the movie, things that people might be confused about, or, no, not even confused, but just like, hey, what, you know? I ended up getting COVID while filming. I don't know how I got it, but I got COVID. So, you know, you, you, you go into COVID, COVID protocol and you're out for a while. So if you notice the scene, pay attention. I'm sure I'm gonna get, you know, everyone's gonna be like, what the heck? I had a stunt double, a body double, at the end, when we come to the the, the the lacrosse field, I was gonna say hockey, the lacrosse field, when Parrish is getting up, that's not me. I was, I couldn't be around anyone. I was quarantining in my hotel room, you know, and the show must go on. They couldn't wait for, <clears throat> they couldn't wait for me. So if you notice, that's another thing. Like everyone kind of had a cool moment. I was supposed to have a cool moment with Shelly, Malia, Parrish and Malia, you know, like getting up, are you okay? You know, uh, maybe even a peck on the cheek or a peck on the lips, I don't know. But uh, that didn't happen. And that was because my fault. Your boy got COVID. You know, I was just out running around Atlanta licking handrails. What do you mean by that? <laughs> but yeah, I was bummed about that. I, I, you know, at the end of a movie, you guys, a lot of times there's a ton of reshoots. And we actually did do reshoots on this film on things that needed to be picked up, things that needed to change. And I was always hoping we'd get to do that. But that was at a stadium at a college. And they we only had it for like, a, you know, like things go on there you know you can't just be like hey we actually need to come back like like no we have a whole school and and sports that actually play here so we only had that stadium for a limited amount of time so i was never able to do the reshoots for that and i was kind of bummed i was like i feel like maybe it's going to be a little bit not cool that you just don't even really you know so if you're wondering why it didn't feel like Paris had any like dude are you okay like it was my fault but the next thing i wanted to talk about let me know what you think about the film i loved it but it doesn't matter if I liked it. You know, I, like I said, I'm biased. I want to know if you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys do. You know, we put our heart and soul into it. After the Teen Wolf premiere, I was lucky enough to go to the premiere of Wolfpack. And let me tell you, I loved it. I got to be honest, like, this is going to sound terrible, but, like, I, I really had no interest. I mean, I did. I, want, I was like, well, yeah, I want to check it out. You know, but it's, it's nothing like Teen Wolf. So I was like, oh, it's just going to be a different show. And it is. So I was just like, well, I hope, you know, I, I want it to be good. I know it's going to be good. It's Jeff Davis. But, you know, I didn't really have any invested interest. 
gotta be honest, I was never a huge Sarah Michelle Gellar fan, Buffy. I just didn't like Buffy. Nothing against her. She's beautiful. She kills it. I just wasn't a fan of Buffy like some friends. And I had one friend that was so obsessed with Buffy that it actually like pushed me away from the show. So again, I'm just like, ah, you know, was, there's nothing that I didn't really know too much about it. So going to the mirror, I was like, well, let's, let's watch this. And you know, just eat my popcorn and watch it. And I was hooked from the beginning. It is everything that we want a team up to because it's, I, I loved MTV. I still do, you know, but we had limitations. We couldn't, you know, I couldn't show butt cheeks. Uh, there was no swearing. Uh, I have a potty mouth. You know, if you know me, you know I have a potty mouth. So for me, where, you know, these kids in real life get to swear and, you know, there's gore and it's it's just, it's what I, I wish Teen Wolf could have been. I wish we had more of that. And that's what's cool about the film was we do have that. But these young, talented actors, uh, who are all stunning, by the way, are, they get to do it from the start. So I'm already hooked. I can't wait to binge watch it. So let me know what you think of Wolfpack. Hopefully you guys dig that too, because now I'm a fan again. Before I ever got on Teen Wolf, you guys, I started in season three. Um, I was a fan of Teen Wolf. Like, I watched it. I, I knew all about it before I read the pilot, I read the scripts. But I was a fan of it before I ever got on the show. Um, and Wolfpack brought that back because it, it had such feelings of being like, oh, man, I want to be on this show. Like, it was, it was, it was really cool. And uh, the second it was over, I, I immediately texted you. I was like, you, you did it. You did something that I didn't want to happen. I, I actually like Wolfpack better than Teen Wolf. Don't get me wrong, I love our film, it's fantastic. But I was like, maybe it's because I'm in it, so I'm, I'm, when you watch it, you, as much as I love it, I like watching everyone else, I hate everything that I do. You know, you're like, oh, why'd I do it like that? Oh, why, why'd you say it like that? Oh, they used that take? Oh, no. So you don't fully enjoy it. Whereas when I was watching Wolfpack, I was just like a kid in the movie theater, just going, oh. and then and it just ended on me, and I was bummed. I was like, no, I want more. You know, but you're clapping, because, you know, I'm proud of everyone. And like I said, I immediately texted Jeff, and I was like, you did kind of like what I posted on the internet. I think, selfishly, I don't want to admit this, but it's better than Teen Wolf. So hopefully you guys, the fans out there, you guys have something new to latch onto, because even though it's not Teen Wolf, it's still werewolves, and it's badass, and it's more adult. So the fans that were younger, that grew up with Teen Wolf, we now have a more adult version of Teen Wolf. Also, there was one thing in Wolfpack that I picked up on, and I you I just admitted to being a dum dum. I picked up on it, and I thought, you know, maybe I'm just crazy, but I noticed it, and I was right. So I want to see if you guys get that clue. I'm gonna see if the internet is smart enough to figure that out in terms of the Wolfpack world. You know, like like I said, normally I'm the I'm the dum dum that comes out, and they're like, did, did you pick up on that? I'm like, no. What do you mean? What? That was a thing, you know? I, f I picked up on one. I was proud of myself, okay? Tilting again. All right, we're back. But with that being said, you guys, you know what time it is. Comment, subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. You know, the blah, 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 blah stuff. But seriously, comment down below. Let me know uh, what you thought about my butt cheeks. Let me know <laughs> what you think about the film overall. What do you think about Paris's love life? Who you think uh, Derek's son's mother is? What do you think about Derek's son? What did we miss out on the film? What was awesome? All that fun stuff. And you guys, I know. I, I watched it too. I know we don't have Styles. He's one of my favorite characters too. We can move past that, okay? I get it. We're missing Styles. It's going to be all in the comments. You know, that's not what I'm asking about, okay? Come on, you guys. Anyways, love you guys. <laughs> Toodles.